Hey Libra. Happy holidays to you. I hope this doesn't cut off. I see it's doing something weird again. I'm going to pull from my Libraship cards that I made. I couldn't find them for a minute and then I found them. Let's see if you guys can see this. Yes. Values. Nice. That's a good one. What are your values? Are they strong or weak? Do you have to reevaluate your values? Grounding. Get outside and kick off those sandals. Let your feet touch the earth. There are no coincidences. Another good one. Rainbow. You signed the contract to be here. New views. Nature. The sun. My love. Cry. We got that yesterday. Someone's crying. Secret room. You will always look for me, but never find me. Somebody must have done you dirty for you to say that. Dreams come true. This town's getting old. I just pulled a bunch of cards and came down here. Let's uh, put these over here. I know you can't see them, but I like to look at them while I do the read for you. And grounding. Let's see. It's good, right? I hope you're having nice weather. We started off cloudy and raining, but now the sun is beaming. Ace of Pentacles. That's new beginnings. Knight of Pentacles. The Ace and Knight. That's a good combination. Ace is one. Knight of Pentacles. I think that's all I'm going to pull on that. Let me see. A bread bite to begin your day. A coffee sip to fuel you forward. This city starts with each singular seed and builds towards a BEC on a toasted everything bagel. Street signs. Craft a simple packing list of five must-have items, either material or emotional, that you place in your survival kit. In New York City, kick off a new cycle of sustenance by enchanting your palate with a previously unexplored cuisine. Cuisine. Cuisine? Can't say. <laughs> Okay, so it's the start of something different that you're going to incorporate into your life. This book is kind of weird. It puts the... I think the night is somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
Knight of Pentacles, strolling the elegant Esplanade and stopping for a sit down on a wrought iron bench. The Knight of Pentacles moves us at a pace and with the grace of the body we're in. The Knights awaken subtle paths within us and here in the earthy pentacles we're asked to explore how our physical forms read and respond to the environment. We can start with a basic body scan where we pay attention to the nonverbal intel we're receiving about our situation. From this place of psychic physicality, we can then divine how to better take the shape of our circumstances and bend our beings towards them without breaking. <clears throat> Let's carry on. You might discover something by nightfall. I hope you can see this. Hmm. Distant horizons. Message. And this mature woman is back. They said this one. Sudden wealth. You're going to be receiving a letter about this sudden wealth. In the distant horizons. It could be by nightfall. I noticed that the mailmen are working today. I thought it was a holiday. Let's pick some cards out of here. Kimura, Secret Society. Beauty, Town Beauty. Professional artist. <clears throat> Cult. Group living. Kimura. This lady that's mature, her name might be Kimura. Or she might go by Kimura because it looks like this group living... This mature woman is in a cult of some sort. She showed up yesterday. She wasn't very happy with your outcome. I saw fame first. Fame and power. I think you're going to obtain fame and power. And the secret society has their eye on you. I don't know. You must have done something <clears throat> to catch their eye. Because it seems like they're all about you for some strange reason. <clears throat> I made these cards a long time ago. I'm just going to split them. You got the Seven of Wands. That's Perseverance. Taking defense and maintaining control. Yeah, no matter what these people do, you maintain your control over your situation. If you have to defend yourself, do so. Oh my God, the balloons are above me. Did you hear that noise? I've never heard that noise before. That's confirmation. You better persevere. If you're going for fame and fortune, keep going down the route you're going. Don't let anyone get in your way. Not even this mature woman. I'm not saying they will, but you never know. Dream interpretation. Strangers came out. Do you feel like you're around strangers? Or you might be actually around strangers roots remember your roots when you get to this fame and fortune remember where you came from and be humble and grateful 
I saw travel, but I put it back. We had travel yesterday that you would be traveling for your career, right? So, the plot thickens. Who said that? Agatha Christie? Exceptionality. And music is on the bottom. Ooh, there's wedding here too. You might be getting married. You're exceptional. That's why they're watching you. They can't believe how extraordinary you are. Did I say that right? You're amazing. Let's just put it that way. And <laughs> all right. One more. Love. Well, that marriage card. Well, love comes first, right? Shouting. I don't need shouting. Maybe your fans will be shouting your name. <laughs> Love. Yeah, look, people are talking about you. Ooh. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was so weird. All right. Don't forget where you came from. You're going to be around a lot of people that you don't know prior to signing autographs. People are talking about you because they're small-minded. You know exactly where you want to go. You're pointing to where you want to go. Persevere and go for it. Okay, Hero's Journey, the reward. Celebrate your magnificence, see? Told you, you're magnificent. After glow, land gracefully. That's an air sign because you're in the air, right? Because you're going to be landing. For this, you were born. Foster your intention for incarnating in this dimension. Yes, become who you were meant to be. Don't let anyone stand in your way. The call, honor the whisper of your soul. So you've been called to be in this type of business. And let's see. I brought out Brittany today. See what you get. Oh, nice. The snake charmer. We've gotten this before. It's a cute little outfit that she has on. And if I would turn on the light, you might be able to see better. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Lights, camera, action! <laughs> it's like, why is it so dark? Brittany cemented her pop god goddess status at the 2001 MTV Video Music Awards with a performance of Slay For You. Filled with rolling thunder, sparkling jewels, and a seven-foot albino Burmese python named Banana, halfway through the elaborate choreographed routine of body rolls and intricate arm movements, Brittany draped Banana over her shoulders and took a walk around the stage without missing a single beat. Even if you are not carrying a snake on your shoulders, the snake charmer reminds you to face your fears and look inward to find confidence and strength where all eyes are on you. And we had that card where there, people are staring at you, talking about you. Yeah, you're in the spotlight. Good for you, congratulations. 
Um, let me see. Cosmic Insights. Confession. Someone has something to tell you. We got that letter card before. And patience. Just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. Wow. We had that other card. Distant Horizons. That just verifies that. I'm going to go to Message of Love. Since we got that love card. Libra's love, love. Wow, that's a chunk. Let's call that chunky monkey. All right. Dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. So you were in a love relationship that crumbled. <clears throat> Reunion. We will always come back to each other. Hmm. Okay, third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. <sighs> Responsibilities. I had to take care of my financial and emotional needs. Reciprocity. I want to have equal give and take. Hmm, interesting. Have equal give and take. I brought out the crystal cards. That cult card that came out, that's why the secret room card came out. Because there are secret rooms that they meet in and do cult initiations if you will i think your name has been kicked around some rooms you've never been in before and that's okay let them whatever they're doing but being a chosen one and highly protected they should really be careful because that can kick right back to them because your guardians are not going to let anything happen to you you know. Okay, I got pyrite. Good chance of fortune, success, renewed focus, and leadership. This one kind of came out. Angel light. Angel communication, clairvoyance, alignment, and dream insights. That's nice. Very nice. Angelette, communicating with the angels, developing telepath and clairvoyance for clear communication. White exterior with light blue inside. And then you have pyrite. Hmm. Number 60. Manifesting wealth, shifting from lack to abundance. Sparkly, very gold, either in clusters or often in cubes. Pyrite is most famous called fool's gold after prospectors mistook it for real gold a long time ago. It is actually a lighter color, harder, and more brittle than real gold. Pyrite's shiny cubic cube, no, cubic, makes up, makeup will attract money to when you work with it regularly. Place a piece of pyrite where you work to bring high frequency energy to the area. Clearing stress caused by debts or working too hard, 
It will relieve mental confusion or tiredness and replace it with a clear head, renewed focus, and enthusiasm. It can boost your leadership skills and give you the impetus to ask for and get a promotion. If you have a business card, place some pyrite on top of it to attract success, success and new career opportunities. Yeah, that new career is definitely something you, not, you need to go for. I am going to open the angel blessings. I got this a while back at Barnes & Noble. Wow, it's brand new. Let me put this over here. I'm still going to open this. I feel the need to pull from here. So that's what I'm going to do. See there. All right, let's put the book there. <clears throat> and these are pretty. Pink clouds. Very airy. An air element, which you are. Raphael, healing, number five. Let's read that for you. I got a stack over here. Raphael. Here. Healing. As soon as you trust yourself, you will know how to live. Raphael means God cures. Through Raphael is charged with the healing of the earth and its inhabitants. He gives full credit to God. His first mission is to purify the activities of other of the outer mind to uplift your thinking and erase any false beliefs. With an open mind and heart, your unshakable faith emerges. Lifting your consciousness to the eternal self. Raphael's next mission is to repair your cells, tissues, and organs and purify your bloodstream. Now your body begins to take in nourishment from the pure essence of spiritual light. Your heart center bursts open in a lightning flash of love as you rate of vibration increases, causing bodily sensations you never dream possible. You become a center of pure, unconditional love. That This is tangible vibration spreads to the other centers of your body, revealing amazing gifts of spirit that have been sleeping for a long time. So you're going to get a burst of light that goes throughout your body to wake you up. And I don't mean waking up from sleep. I mean like really seeing everything for what it truly is. We are living in some strange times right now, my friend. And people are eventually waking up. And it's a good thing. You know, don't be afraid. Remember, you signed up for this. So on that note, get out in the sun. Kick your sandals off. And ground and make it a great day. I'll see you guys next weekend. Yeah, next weekend. Have a great day. Bye.